Hello there YouTube, this is Sibbles and Bits back at it again with another Inkbound Daily. Today is the solo daily for October 28th, and today we will be playing Obelisk, going from Proven Grounds into... I believe Derelict Starship? I admittedly, like, lost the second one there. Um, and we're going up against Argoloth. So, one thing to note about... Well, first, let's talk about scoring. Uh, I went over our video yesterday and found out a whole bunch... I can't actually look at this. So... One thing that I found out is that, yes, bosses are giving us 6,000. And they are giving negative 250 per turn after 5 turns. The one thing that I did realize is that the combat damage bonus, it says plus 10% for perfect results. It is actually giving us 1,000 every time that we get a perfect. However, comma, for whatever reason, it doesn't work for bosses. And not only that, but the combat damage penalty isn't occurring during bosses either. So theoretically, during a boss, we can take as much damage as we want because currently in this, I'm assuming it's bugged state, it's actually not going to take points from us. And it doesn't really matter for us to try and perfect bosses, which is kind of like a big deal. Also, what is it? Um, whenever the tooltip comes up on the side here, as far as the, the damage penalty for normal fights, and in, including like... Um, the perfect uh, bonus, it's not going to display correctly. It doesn't add the perfect bonus, and it does negative one point per HP lost. But in again, in regular fights, it is taking out the correct amount. Whether or not it's capped at ten, I'm hoping that we never uh, <laughs> we never figure that out. Anyways, another thing that I realized is that I kept thinking that uh, 750 was the cutoff for Quillings. When it was 500, so I could have bought a lot more things. I don't think it really would have changed that much in how we played. We just would have bought things before bosses that we already did uh, pretty good on. It might have uh, bumped up our score a little bit. Um, personally, again, I think that this should go back to 750. Because we make a lot more quillings now out of uh those big quilling cages i've been playing some off lot like offline or off camera because obviously when we were playing before we had um, legendary stores which was working correctly i was getting like 160 plus out of those so they're like two quilling cages and you can get them at any point in the game we make so much more money now I honestly think that it's a little bit ridiculous, but we'll have to see what they uh, decide to do with that. Anyways, that's um, the scoring stuff. As far as our run today, we're playing Obelisk. Uh, Gifted is, well, we'll take a look at if it's great or not. Magnetic Vestiges cannot be dropped. I don't know if this was... To Can we grind them? Because that's actually kind of a big deal right now. Like, before, it wasn't really a big deal because we would maybe run into one extra vestige. Now, runs are longer. We get offered a lot more stuff. It's very easy for us to have our pockets be full. If we cannot grind vestiges, that's, well, for one, a huge F8 report. And for two, a huge deficit because that's how we get a lot of set bonuses. And then, of course, we also have Paper Tigers. I believe the patch notes stated that they took this off of bosses. So we don't get the plus 50% damage versus them. But at least they're not dealing double damage to us. Right now, that's kind of a deficit, I think. But um, we should still be fine. The plus 50% damage versus regular enemies is very good. We just got to be careful of enemies that deal damage uh, in retaliation. Things like Quillians, things like Blazing Barrier... Uh, those will mess us up. So that's just something that we got to be a little bit careful of. Otherwise, Obelisk themselves has been buffed to the frickin' moon. Like, it's honestly disgusting. They still have shitty Ogs, but... I mean, I can't say that because there's like three Ogs that are probably the best Ogs in the game right now. But, dear God, uh, you'll, you'll see for yourself. 
They gave us Blessing of Misplaced Nobility again. Not sure I enjoy that, but whatever. This is where we're at. Oh no! We got Smoke Bomb. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Smoke Bomb and Blink. Noise. Alright, what do we want here? Um, Blur is great, but I'm not sure about Blur on my first turn. We get to move towards Ambusher, which is something. Swift gives us plus 10 movement. Not sure that that's, like, important. Inkflet is almost looking like the best thing here. Quill and Catcher isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that it doesn't proc off of anything now that it's down at 10%. Well, we'd get it out of big quilling cages and some... Like, the thing is, is that it doesn't round up. That's my issue. At least I believe it doesn't round up. Yeah. Anyway, so, like, quill and catcher by itself doesn't really do much of anything for us. We could grind this at a grinder and get up to quilling hoarder 2. That starts doing stuff for us, but I still don't. Like, the compound interest is absolutely disgusting. But I, I don't think that that's... Like, watch there be mumsies at the end of the run. I think that ink flat's just fine. Expert binder is pretty good. And uh, reducing our cooldowns is also pretty good. Like using Smoke Bomb more often, using Seismic Slam more often. These are things that we want to do. I could reroll here, but I'm just not gonna. I did say that we have a ton of money. We could afford to reroll here. I just think that this is uh, good enough. It's not going to help our turn one, but our turn one is probably like one of the most... Dis <laughs> disgusting uh, turn ones that I've ever seen. Shrapnel Smoke Bomb is somewhat decent. Uh, after DOTs got gutted, like Shrapnel Smoke Bomb, at least for one cost in a reliable cooldown, giving uh, eight stacks of bleed is pretty good, but otherwise, like the bleed itself, I really don't care. I could see Quick and Seismic Slam using this more often. That's a vector for endgame. I really want to see. Ah, oh, yeah, we've got bindings. Of course, this is harder. I'm willing to reroll one more time. I'm willing to reroll an additional time. Come on, man. The reason why I'm rerolling so much is because negative one cooldown is on green on shield bash, and it is literally like bread and butter. Like, I'm not going to say that it's mandatory on obelisk, but. As you can see, Shield Bash now does 165 damage. Bringing that down to a 1 cooldown means that just picking up an orb allows you to use it twice. That's like 330 um, damage per turn. Plus you like add an Iron Clap in there, you get some Crush. Uh, you now actually out DPS Weavers. Which... That's ridiculous. <laughs> like it's absolutely ridiculous. I could actually see some spike for now. Like, I don't think that it should be our plan, but it can be. Like, it's just hard to take spiked knowing that um, we can't take damage anymore. Like, we have shielding, but how many times are we actually going to overshield? Yeah, I don't know. Let's, um... We probably should have just taken the bleed on Smoke Bomb. Shielding Iron Clap also looking interesting. We'll take the cooldown. And honestly, just give me two Tarnish Vaults. So, we didn't actually get a negative one cooldown, so we're actually looking a bit spiced for our turn one here. These guys have 300 HP. There's honestly, like, next to no... I'm not going to say next to no way. Yeah, okay, we crush them. Like, this is... This is Obelisk now. As long as there's not a figment, we don't care. Another ink flat. Um, Up-tiered Marble Cuffs is actually probably the play here. An additional shielding is great. It gives us Bastion, which is an additional shielding. 
and uh, starts getting us towards physical power, which we we use, right? Um, physical, physical, physical. Maybe we go into bleed. Crush does physical. This is like no brainer. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? I think this is a reroll. I'm not sure that I want to try to go towards ambusher, especially if I don't know if I can get rid of stuff in my inventory by grinding it. I really want something that is. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. We can uh, start going into CDR with stuff like Ink Flats. Um, if we start getting Expert Binder, we can start spamming skills a lot. So Earthquake is looking very good. Increases its base damage, and then throughout the fight, it's going to get a little bit better. We might find a way to keep spamming that, especially if, you know, we actually take negative one CDR on it for a freaking change. Ah. Anyways, let's go to this Binding Empowerment. There's negative one CDR. I'm actually about that. That means that we get to use it every single turn. If Shield Bash isn't going to be our star player, Earthquake can be our star player. I'm fine with that. We just need to get something that we actually want to... We need to get more oomph out of this. Plus Crush would be great. Um... Honestly, another negative CDR. I don't know if that's uh, exclusive now that they uh, changed everything. If it's not, a 1 CDR Earthquake with uh, orbs. Possibly more orbs. Holy crap. It'd be great. We do have to go to a Glyph Globe. Um, a Tarnish Vault isn't bad. I think we won a Superior Vault, though. We'll take a Glyph Globe later and hope that everything works out. Don't spawn the pot here, you son of a... Okay. Alright, this is what we're going to do. And I don't regret anything on that. Huh. Another Bastion. We should never be below 50% health. I kind of like Cloak of the Conspirator here. I believe... I may be mistaken that they changed this so that it doesn't count damage to shields. Again, I might be completely incorrect on that. Or they tried it and then realized how disgusting that is and then went the opposite direction. <laughs> Regardless, there uh, it's very easy for us on Obelisk to take no damage simply because we have inordinate amounts of damage now. Um, Magma Miner found dead in Miami. Um, I'm debating that rare augment. I don't think that that's something I want. This Tarnish Vault, we might... I was going to say... We probably don't want anything out of this. But if this is going to give us Warden, which gives us DR, this has DR, we get some spikes. We do have some uh, physical damage. Like, we can use this. It's probably not the best thing for us to grab, but I'll take it. Gain resistant and one stack of blur to allies. Holy lord. I don't know which of these I want. Hidden Mist is more damage. Gives stacks of precise. We don't really crit a lot, but we can stack that up until we actually use it. We actually have Cloak of the Conspirator. We kind of do crit. I think it's Smokescreen, though. Simply due to the fact that if we have a bad turn, we just hit ourselves with this. And um, 
plus 25% DR and one stack of blur. That's a lot of damage mitigation when you're already producing an inordinate amount of shields like we are. Uh, we want this Vestigal Shrine. Yeah. And I think we want to liquidate. Like, these are, like, too good for us. We can't get rid of these. But getting rid of this here, it's not necessarily going to give us Expert Binder yet. But... I don't know. It's kind of a moment of truth. Okay. We can grind stuff. That is very good to know. I'd like an uncommon. We want to buff our earthquake to the moon. Oh, we're fine here. We're fine. I'm trying to decide if anything here is worth it. The scattered samples is a pretty good combination for, um... They did give us Chalice of Champions a while back. But I think we're just going big, dummy, thick, um... Obelisk, because it works. If we know that we can grind, I'm willing to take Powder Monkey Stockpile. That gets us up to Tier 3 of Striker. Gives us a ton of physical damage. We can't move... Who cares? Who cares? We have Blink. Um, am I expecting to get hit? I don't think so. We will reroll here. There's a... No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Okay, game. I understand. Oh, we wanted to grind this anyways. Um, this is great. I'm trying to decide if another green augment is worth it. Reducing the cooldown on smokescreen would actually be really huge. Reducing the cooldown on shield bash would be nice, but I don't think that it's necessary anymore. Otherwise, thinking about our other greens, the ability to gain more shielding versus Argoloth when Paper Tigers is in effect sounds pretty good. Um... Blink doesn't really do much of anything with greens. I think this is a Vestical Shrine. Might as well get our movement back. That is double damage on our next attack binding. Woo! A weight has been lifted off of our shoulders. We have full Striker set already. Um, I'm not sure I'm willing to spend 100 for an Uncommon either. What do you got? It's got to be something really good. That's really good. That's like really good. Crimson Quillfish. We might as well use this. All right, Giannis, let's see how bad you are now. Oh my god, what the hell's going on here? Waiting to be activated by Giannis. Giannis will activate this enemy with its activating ability or when changing phases. What? What if I just killed everything? How would that make you feel? 
Give me my orb. We can take damage here. We're doing quite a lot of damage with it. Actually, honestly... <laughs> would this actually full block us? Or... Our DR would go up to levels not, not calculable by man. That'd be 40%. So you would lose one damage and then negative one from blur. This should full block. Oh my god. Which means we took no damage because shield damage doesn't count. So Cloak of the Conspirator. This needs to become a blue now. That is not okay. <laughs> oh. We want to save that for next turn, so let's save it for next turn. That probably means us doing something like that. Just... Just obelisk things, guys. See what happens? You guys kept complaining that Obelisk was shit, and then this happened. This is all your guys' fault. Negative one. <sighs> oh, baby. I actually like that more than the crit chance, and I don't remember what the other new purple is. Holy crap, that's good. This means that we actually get to use skill. <laughs> Ayo! <laughs> or if we find a way to create orbs with blink, we can actually, like, use it multiple times in a turn. Ayo! Do we want to get rid of anything here? This is all pretty good. Yeah, no, this is... We are Gucci gang right now. We need this Glyph Globe. I will take that early. I'm feeling quite confident in our damage. Famous last words. The only thing that I'm afraid of is the HP. Um, we're about to lose like a ton of points due to HP. So if we find anything that gives us HP, that's like priority number one. Okay. We might actually do too much damage to Arkham. <laughs> That's an honest concern right now. Okay. Potent Smoke Bomb. Eh. I think it's Shielding Iron Clap. So we can go up against, what is it? The um, the bottom, or the top left tentacles. And we can double shield versus them. That's like the only place where that happens, though. We technically can afford to re-roll this, but I don't think that it's worth it. We're going to go ahead and just shielding iron clap. It might actually prove useful. We can go to this vesicle shrine. Oh, I guess. Hold up. Return to the chronicler. Let's do it. Let's do that. What do you got for me, buddy?
require mythos for. I'm sorry, what? You want to run this shit by me again? This is huge. Okay. So I think I'm willing to take a superior vault. We don't we don't need anything over here. So we'll go over here. Blue spine cod, just one real will reserve. Meep map. Disintegrate is good for us. Oh, you're a beefy boy. Whoops. The game, how play? We'd might as well take Flash. I would have preferred Blast. This would be good for its effect. This would be just dis <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> ah. I can't spend any more money. Oh, I can. We can go down to five. That's just... I'm sorry. That's not okay in my book. Is there anything that we want to grind? Do we have a grinder up above? We do have a grinder. So what would be worth grinding? Starwalker isn't bad. We can reroll. That's probably worth it. Ancient Wisdom isn't bad just to try and get Ancient Wisdom. How much Ambusher do we have? I'll tell you what. I almost want to be a little freak. If we grind this, we get up to Ambusher 3. We're almost at Ambusher 4. And then we get our Acknowledgement of Exemption to pop on the second turn 2. Which is just another 5 Earthquakes. I don't know what could possibly stand up against that. The probably better option to do is to take this Verdant Sprout. Immediately grind it. Get 3 max HP after combat. We have... One, two, three. I don't know how it counts with uh, the final fight, but that's a total of possible plus 12, which will get us to just under what we need to be. Well, we'd be at 37. 37, 34, somewhere around there. So we would um, be just under losing significantly less health. So that's probably the correct play, but the play that I obviously want to make is Ambusher 4, because that's just, um, we win territory. But I think we win territory is a lot worse than losing points. Or losing points is a lot worse than just flexing on the game. Don't make me spend two freaking will in order to shatter things. Jeez. Marking Blink is probably the most disgusting augment that we can pick up right now. So, I'll take that. Let's go to the Vesicle. Give me the money. 
You want to grind this for me, please? Thank you. I appreciate the verdant. We don't need cliff globes. There's not really a purple that I feel like we definitely need. Like, shock would be nice on iron clap, but eh. Um. Yeah, so just keep taking me to vaults. No, no, I'm critting. So how are you guys doing? You guys doing all right? You having a good time? That's good. It's good that you guys are having a good time. If I could get more health, like that's what I'm fishing for right here. If I could get more health, like Chalice of Champions is more damage. That's obviously pretty cute, but I really don't think that we need it. Reroll me. Like, we're going up against a boss. I guess I'm not going to tempt the fates. Like, we should probably just grab this coin of shadow just to make a little bit more money. We can't drop it, though. It might actually be better to not grab it. What's before this boss? A vesticle. That changes everything. Bead of metal. Coin of shadow would give a shadow. That's a little spooky. I think we're going to go ahead and take it, though. Um, okay, we're good. We should never take damage ever again. Unless, of course, if Shadow bypasses our shields, then we're kind of in trouble. But it shouldn't? Question mark? Ink Rito's kind of cute. We need HP, though. And I'm not sure that we have the money to afford uh, re-rolling there. All right. Our shield did block. Good. There we go. God forbid, I think we're going to use this here. No, it shouldn't be necessary. Let's go. 
So, that's disgusting. Um... I guess Slam's actually good here. I would usually prefer Impulse, but um, since we're literally crushing everything like multiple times in the first turn, this is immediately going to spike up above Impulse, even though this is dealing one extra stack of Crush. So, I'm taking Slam, I guess. Uh, heal 100% of our health. Cool. God, I really would like to see some maximum HP, but I honestly don't know that that exists. We got some money to reroll some stuff, so maybe... Not this one, this one. I didn't want to put this on cooldown. So we didn't. I guess we could have blinked. Hmm. Okay. None of this is what we want. I can reroll one of these. I don't know where the HP is. Let's, um, we're gonna start doing some actual gaming here. What gives me actual HP? Like, Death Scythe would do it. And see, this is my problem with, like, not having stats in the game anymore. Like, how... Like, even Pendant of the Weaver doesn't give HP. That's just restore 10 HP. That's kind of useless. Stone Blossom, we're actually not going to get attacked. Even Heart of the Last Lifeless doesn't give HP. So, it has to be... Death Scythe. Can we reroll this one twice? We cannot. We are unable. I think maybe here we take Inkrito. No, we can't take Inkrito here because then we won't get... Uh... Our best chance here is to reroll and hope for Death Scythe. I mean, we got pretty much what we expected, let's be honest. <laughs> oh. Like, what's Warden at? Ward's at 2. I really don't care for Pincushion, but this is probably, like, the best thing that we can get. I don't know. Okay. So if we take that, we might as well... How do I just randomly have Vigorous? Because of Falmark? Valmark doesn't give me that much vigor. What did we grind that gave us vigorous? Huh. Anyways.
that's useless. This gives us at least some crit chance, some crit damage. Well, it won't give us crit chance. Because we're only going to get precision one. So this gives us crit damage. This doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, we'll just grind Dunn's head. Shocked is kind of huge. And we're taking Armored Porcupine. Ruhu. Alright. Can't do anything here. Might as well take a look at this for you guys. We got a Clepsidranium. Give some Mythos. And Expert Binder. Eh? Like, this is pretty terrible for us. I could see maybe Blessed Brickstones, but I don't think that that's correct. Like, that's a pretty terrible shop. Rip everyone who went for Quilling Hoarder, uh, Vive. Kind of want to be over here on the left. Just love the sound of me getting socked in the face by Shadow. Don't worry, though. It's here to help. I think we want to save Disintegrate for the second wave here. Yeah, buddy. Disintegrate. Seems good. Okay. We should honestly just keep bumping this. These are going to disappear anyways. It does get rid of our only tentacle, but I'll be honest, I really... That, that was going to happen anyways. I'm not too broke up about that. Probably should have blinked for a free orb. I was about to say, are you actually going to summon anything? Should probably reduce all of our cooldowns here. I'm collecting an okay. I was like, why am I getting these skills so often? I was a little scared. Yeah, we're gonna miss perfect score, but only because we started with um what's it called? Otherwise, we want to run without taking any damage. So, yeah. So that at least lets us know what perfect score is, because the only thing that we missed was um, 800 points from healthy. So the top possible score is 55, 750. Well, I don't know about you guys. But I had a great time. And these people did figure out how to get the HP. So, I mean... It might have been pathing. Maybe we didn't re-roll... Like, we obviously didn't re-roll something that gave us HP. Maybe they got a Death Scythe early. It was pretty much it. Otherwise, we would have had to get Verdant, like, as soon as possible. And I believe we weren't offered Verdant. 
But besides that, I think that, uh, well, obviously somebody could get 40 and get above our score. We have the second best score. So I guess that technically makes it the third best score. Um, yeah, it was definitely a very fun run. Uh, hopefully it was fun for you guys, or at least educational. Maybe I can stop getting reading comments about how bad Obelisk is because he's too good now. Hopefully they don't like nuke him from orbit and now he's terrible. Anyways, um, if you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, miss player alerts, be sure to put that down in the, the uh, comments below. And until next time, we will catch you guys around.